Kathleen here. In today's video, I'm bringing you a luxury beauty haul. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will want to become part of my YouTube family and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see what I have gotten from brands like La Mer, Chanel, Burberry, Tom Ford, and much more, then just keep on watching. Yesterday I was kind of, yeah, I say kind of because if you see, cleaning up my makeup station, gathering the new items that I just purchased, some stuff that I received from PR, and kind of, you know, organizing myself, quote unquote, is the never ending story right here, my friends. But anyhow, while I was doing that, I'm like, you know what, I have enough products to do a try on haul, but then I'm like, no, 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 let's first do a haul video, that way you guys can tell me what products you want to see in action. So let's dive in into the products that I have got, and whenever I, you know, like, have received something from PR, I will let you know. Okay, so my first purchase is from Burberry, and honestly, I have been very much impressed with the new products that Burberry have launched. From this palette right here, the runway palette that I feel so upset that we is not coming back in stock. I mean, it's, it may come back in stock. I think it will be, I mean, it never said, I know, I'm something confused right here. It never said that it was limited edition. So I, you know, I have some faith on it. And obviously I will let you know as soon as I see it coming back on Burberry's website. Also this face palette is gorgeous. The foundation, oh my goodness. This is a serum foundation that a huge hit for me. I mean, like all Burberry foundations, I have tried them in the past. I haven't tried the ones on the stick and, but the other ones, you know, they had been a huge hit. Anyhow, friends, the latest Burberry lunch has been their Burberry Kisses Satin Lipsticks. And you know that I'm a lipstick lover. So I pick up two. I think they are a total of 32. Now, Burberry has their lipsticks, but they just have been kind of like revamping their packaging and their full line, which makes me super excited. I cannot wait to see like single highlighters, you know, like single bronzers too. I love the palette, but I just want to see a little bit more from them. Anyhow, the first shade that I got is 14 Delicate Rose. And the packaging, I mean, everything that is gold, please, please, please give it to me. This is such a beautiful shade. Look at that. I'm not going to be swatching everything today. You have to let me know what you want to see in action. And then we kind of like take it from there. Because otherwise, this video will take forever. I know, my whole videos usually, they are long. So this one right here is English Rose or Deep English Rose 16. So super pretty, you know, I love those nudie tones, rosy tones. So these are up my alley. I'm just super excited to give them a try. And these are magnetic. Oh. <laughs> this is total luxe and they are made in Italy. And then from Natasha Denona, you guys have seen already perhaps my full on review and two looks with the new Zendo palette. I have also used it in another video, but you know what? I... <laughs> I have to tell you, I mean, like, mm, I did my review, I enjoy the color story, I think it's different, I was able to create beautiful looks, and I have seen other beautiful looks too, that they don't have to, you know, clash all the colors together, but I think, you know, honestly, this shade right here, it kind of worries me some, it's not the best, and this one right here is, I don't know, I mean, like, I'm still trying it, I have liked the looks that I have gotten, but I think, I mean, if I was to rank my Natasha Denona palettes, maybe you want to see a ranking of my Natasha Denona palettes because I have done the ones from Pat McGrath, but not from Natasha Denona. Let me know if you want to see that because um, this will be somewhere at the bottom of the list. I'm pretty sure about that. But the reason why I'm referring about the Natasha Denona Zendo palette is because while well, I was on Instagram, there is an account, I think it's called beauty deals um bff something like that she posted that there was a 20 percent off so when i bought my zendo palette i'm like you know what i have been really wanting to get that camel palette this is a five fun palette it's not the mini version i mean it's a smaller than the midi size but you know guys natasha Denona, she has so many size of eyeshadow palettes 
and I know that this one has been a beloved one by Michelle Wan. I know I could do a second video of that Michelle Wan maybe buy it, but yeah, I'm mean, like I had had this one on my you know like on my wish list, and I decided to go ahead and get it. I mean, this is a very neutral palette, nothing too much you know just kind of like for every day but i'm like okay if i already got the 20 percent off why not you know let's do it plus when i was on the sephora website during the last sale i didn't saw the camel palette on the sephora's website so i'm like hmm you know i don't know what happened right there talking about sephora i had a little bit of credit well, i shouldn't say credit you know like i swapped some of my points so I was able to, you know, cash them out for something that I really wanted. And this one I bought it in a store is my Tom Ford Disco Dust palette. You know, guys, I have been eyeing this one for so long. It actually during the Sephora sale, it was completely out of stock, which it was a complete bummer. I'm like, oh no, I cannot believe it. And after well until the day that I'm recording this video is still out of stock. And by the way, I will be leaving all the details of everything that I will be talking about today on the description box below. I will link this one for Sephora and if I don't find it in Sephora, I know Selfridges, they have it and it's less expensive than Sephora. So anyhow, going back to these right here, I trade my points. So yeah, I got this baby right here, brand new, right there it's gorgeous it's so pretty i cannot wait to give it a try this is one that i had been eyeing for so so long i have one other one that i really want to get and then there's a new one that is coming up really soon that i spoke about in my will i buy a video that one although it's a mix of shades that you know i'm sure i have them you know from you know my entire collection of Tom Ford but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up getting and then another thing that I got from Sephora again with my points I got the hundred dollar gift card type of thing you know what I have never been um, attracted to Christian Louboutin products <laughs> never I mean like the shoes yes but not really the lipsticks because I don't like the packaging, but I don't know why. Well, I know why. <laughs> I ended up getting one of his lipsticks. I think it was because I saw Hang Banco doing a beautiful makeup look and the model had this lipstick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I know, this is a little bit too much. It has a little like a string to hang it on your, like a necklace. No, 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 that's not me at all. And I, I don't know, I don't, I really do not like the packaging that much, but I really love the color. When he was using it on the model, I'm like, wow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a mess right there. Yeah, it's kind of like an ornament, you know, I don't know. It's not to me that quite appealing, but the shade Belly Bloom, as you can tell, my nude pinky shades, it looks so gorgeous on the model and I mean like not that we are the same <laughs> you know like skin tone or anything like that but I thought you know what why not you know I have the card I could have added something that I really actually needed it but I'm like let me try it. let me try the formulation and whatnot I mean the presentation is very pretty you know on all these kind of like box very luxurious type of packaging so yeah this is my first one christian louboutin lipstick honestly i want to get a bond lipstick that one is the one that kind of like attract me even more so again those items i got them with my points at sephora and then i went ahead and purchased this by beauty daycation whip blush these are the new blushes from by beauty they are liquid blushes they come in four different shades they were a little bit expensive though for what they are. I mean, to my humble point of view, I think I think they were $32 and this is tiny. I mean, like super small. I got the shade Melo Mojito. So the only thing that I'm thinking is like how to open it and to squeeze it. Okay, there you go. So you twist it and then you're supposed to just squeeze right here. So, I mean, very cute, but a very little amount of product for, you know, the price. So, 
I really, really wanted to give it a go, give it a try and see what is all the fuss about. And then from Sephora, I also got another blush. I'm, I know I'm still on the blush kick, although now I'm a little bit into like, okay, let's try bronzers. Yeah, but hey, Pat McGrath is now coming with her blushes. I'm like, okay, a little bit of more blush and then I think I will be like, top mats of lashes for this year. Anyhow, friends, well, who knows, who knows? I got this Saye, say, say, I don't know how to pronounce it, Dew Blush. This is a liquid cheek blush in the shade Poppy. And I have been eyeing this since the Sephora sales, again, like long ago by now, but it was sold out all the time, all the time. And then finally it came back in stock after the sale. I know, so sad. But I'm like, okay, you know what? It's a product that I really wanted to give it a go, give it a try. And you know what? Sephora had this deal. I don't know if they still have it. Basically, you can purchase online, I think through the app or just with your account and have it pick it up at the store if your local store had it available, but with a 10% off. So I'm like, okay. I know 10% off is not that much, but I'm like, you know what? Why not? Let's give it a go. So I got that. And then I went ahead and placed an order with Selvridges. I love Selvridges. Let me tell you that they have such a great customer service. The packages arrive to United States, like literally in two days in pristine condition. I mean like, and also at a less price sometimes than other retailers here in the United States. No, I mean, like, I'm not trying to kill the uh, stores here in the United States, but what I'm saying is, like, you know, I'm allowed to also save some money. So I got a couple items from Zuku. I know, I have been so in love with the products that I have tried from Zuku that I'm like, okay, it's time for me to purchase a couple other things. So one of the lipsticks from the pre-summer collection came back from stock. So if you haven't watched yet, I do have a full-on review on Zuku's pre-summer collection. I really wanted one of their lipsticks, but it was sold out, but I fell in love with the formulation that as soon as I saw it back in the stock, I'm like, okay, it's mine. This is 112 Natsu Fuyu. I think that's the name. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but again, it's 112 from the pre-summer collection. And this is, I think, limited edition. I think by now it should be available still at Selfridges and other retailers. Again, I will make sure to leave all the details in the description box below. But as you can tell, <laughs> I have this thing with like pinky nude shades. And then from Suku, I ended up purchasing one of their eyeshadow palettes from their summer collection. Not the pre-summer, but the summer collection. And this one, I was eyeing it like so hard as soon as I saw the promo pictures. This is 104. Tasso Garezone, Tas Tasso Garezone, I think, I don't know, again, sorry, mispronunciation right here, is Japanese, so I don't speak Japanese, love the packaging, it looks very luxurious, it is lightweight though, but it's so sleek, so beautiful, so modern, classic, elegant type of palette, and look at these, these are my shades. These are totally my shades. Look at this shade right here. It's kind of like that peachy coral tone. Then it has this beautiful kind of like creamsicle shade. I mean, too pretty for words. Everything, I mean like the entire palette is just stunning, completely stunning. Kind of reminds me a little bit to one of the latest Tom Ford palettes. I think it was called Desert Fox. I decided to skip on it because it was deeper than this, a lot deeper than this. And this one right here has a little bit more sheen, kind of like this hybrid between a satin shade and a shimmer shade, but without all the glitter. So I'm super excited to give it a go to these products right here from Zuku. And then Bobbi Brown, oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw this coming. And finally, this palette arrived to USA from Bobbi Brown's website is the Pink Glow Lux Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this is actually a collection. It comes a highlighter on a liquid version, also on a compact. There's, I think, two lip balms. I think there were two lip balms and something else that I don't remember. I don't know if it's a serum or something along those lines, but if you're not familiar with the looks 
eyeshadows from Bobbi Brown. They are kind of that level of Pat McGrath, you know, like um, her special formula of eyeshadows. But they give this beautiful finish and glisten into the eyes. They don't have, a t these ones in particular, they don't have any type of glitter in it, but they just have the most amazing finish. And last year I picked up the one from The Holidays. And I'm like, as soon as I saw this pink one, I'm like, I have to have it because they are all different shades. And in fact, this is a great value product because I think this costs 50 or 55, something along those lines. If you buy each of these shadows individually, it will cost you like double the price. So I'm like, okay, you know, this is a great value. Love the packaging. I mean, the packaging is just so luxurious, pink. I mean, just just pretty, so pretty. And then I went ahead and purchased something from La Mer. This is the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation. You know what? I haven't had a powder foundation in years. So I'm like, you know what? I really love La Mer products. I have used the moisturizing cream in the past. I mean, I love their foundation and so many other products. So I'm like, you know what? Let's give it a go. So I went ahead and pick up one of the shades. This is 23 sandstone, but I think it's still too light for my skin tone. Not so sure if this is gonna work. I mean, like I was like impressed because from the images online, it looked like it will be deeper than this, but this one right here, I mean, you have to tell. Perhaps it will work on me. I can always warm it up with a little bit of bronzer, but yet I think it's a little bit too light for me. I don't know, perhaps, perhaps I'm perceiving it wrong right here, but Again, I'm excited to try this one right here. And then I also pick up another one of the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Coverage Stretchable Concealer. So this one I have tried before. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it's very thin and lightweight. And I'm thinking, you know, like in the warmer months, sometimes it's better to have something that is even lighter weight so that way it doesn't, you know, go all over the place. So I said, you know what, let me just get a second one because I think the other one, the one that I have, I think it should be expired by now and there's just very little amount because I have been using it and then my daughter uses it. Although my daughter uses the latest concealer, which is amazing, I mean, it looks incredible on her. But yeah, so I pick up another one of these babies. Not that I needed another concealer, but I don't know. I was in the mood and I'm like, okay, let me just pick up and replenish a bit. And then I went ahead and placed an order with none other than Chanel right here. This is for their Levage collection. And you have already seen the products in action. If you haven't watched my review, I have a full on review. I went ahead and pick up their new cream bronzer. This is the deeper version, and I have to tell you, spoiler alert right here, I mean, I have said it a couple times after my review of this collection, this is an amazing bronzer. This is an amazing bronzer, and don't be afraid if you are my skin tone to pick it up, if you have been eyeing it, if perhaps the original one, that universal one, is too light for you during summer months. This one right here has the property that you can actually go exactly as you see it right here on the paw that is very deep, or go with a little bit of product and you can sheer it out a little. I mean, it's very... It, it has that blendability and it has that chameleonic effect that you can actually, you know, make it work for your skin tone. I think it actually will cater various skin tones. I will say light to medium, medium, medium tan, tan skin tones. When you're arriving into the deep area, I think Chanel needs to still to work on that. I also went ahead and picked up their Tender Eyeshadow Queen. This one right here. This one is the first one that I was like, I think I wanna get this one first. It's super pretty. It's a pinky, kind of like cool tone, a little bit. Doesn't have mauve tones, but it has a little bit more of deeper tones of pink, really pretty. And then I decided to go for Intense too. Funny enough, I was thinking not to get the one in Intense. And out of the two, the two perform really, really well, but I I think I like a intense a little bit more. This is gorgeous too. This is more of like, it's not really khaki. It actually has a little bit more taupey, a little bit more bronzy tones, and then this kind of like army green that really give that intense and dimension to the eye look. Stunning, truly stunning. And then 
I picked up one of the nail polishes. I have been eyeing the other three nail polishes, but you know what? I'm like, I think this is the shade that I will get more use out of it. This is the shade Glimmer. And actually, I finally painted my nails with the shade. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I hope that you will go ahead and follow me there because right there I keep you posted of the new makeup releases, when something comes by clean stock, not only makeup, also fragrances, I mean like everything that has to be with beauty, but also when I'm reviewing something and you want to see close-ups or swatches, I have it there. In fact, I made a reel with this baby right here because I know you guys wanted it to see how the shade look and honestly, it's very, very, very pretty. I know my manicure is not perfect at all whatsoever you know because I do it here at home I do it myself I always do it but I think I really love the shade I think it's really pretty it's a shade that I can use all year round without a problem and then I went ahead and pick up two of the Rouge Coco Flash this collection comes with four in total so I decided to pick up the lightest shade and honestly I'm truly in love with the shade Sunbeam this one right here is a peachy coral tone but it's just stunning gorgeous shade and it has a little bit of gold in it it's not a metallic it's just when you apply it i don't know you just see a little bit of that gold in there and then the shade dawn now dawn kind of reminds me a little bit i think it's the shade does you i don't remember from their leblanc collection that it actually looks nude right here but it goes a little bit more kind of like sheer not metallic but it gives that juicy pearlescent look to the lips truly stunning shade and that's it as far as chanel goes then i place an order with victoria beckham beauty for her matte bronzing bricks so this is a new product they come in five different shades i have heard though that i think the deepest shade although appeared on the website it was never available to purchase i don't know that's what i heard of i hope that they will replenish it or you know like actually launch it i don't know right there i cannot confirm that but anyhow i purchased the shade two and three and i actually have a review with a ton of comparisons with other bronzers from charlotte tilbury i think tone four two i don't remember i'm mean, wayne goss patrick ta i know my my mind is going like oh so this over here is the shade number two and then I have here the shade number three. I mean, the packaging, so luxurious. I mean, <laughs> Victoria Beckham, she's kind of like killing it with the packaging. So I have here the shade two and the shade number three. So if you want to see side-by-side -side comparisons on my cheeks, again, I do have a full-on review on these babies. Only thing right here, the class. They don't, they don't close well and I'm just like so upset about it. I have contact Victoria Beckham Beauty and let them know that the class closure is not up there, that you know, it's not working properly and I'm still waiting to hear back from them. If I hear back from them, I will let you know what they told me. And then I got this Surat eyeshadow quad. I have seen so many people raving about Beyond Beige. And although I feel like, okay, I bought the Camel palette from Natasha Denona, why I would want something like this again? But you know what? I'm like, I'm very curious. I really want to see it. So this is kind of like that look of Tom Ford Coco Mirage. Kind of like give me that kind of vibe. And you know what? It looks very beautiful. So I'm planning to give it a go. I heard the best about these eyeshadow quads. I'm like, you know what? It's pricey. It's $100 for a quad. I know a Tom Ford is 88, so they are kind of like, you know, they're there, but I'm like, oh well. And then I'm going to another luxury brand, and this is a new luxury brand. I decided to pick up a couple products from Olivia Palermo. So if you don't know who is Olivia Palermo, she's a socialite from New York. She was on, I think, The Hills, was it, if I don't forget. And in fact, if you are familiar with the lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, In Love with Olivia, it was named because Olivia Palermo. Yeah, so that's something, if you don't know. So I went ahead and pick up one of her eyeshadow palettes. 
Her first lunch has been two eyeshadow palettes and I think three lipsticks and then two, um, I think it's, one is a primer and one is a mattifying mist. I don't recall honestly, but the packaging looks so beautiful and let me tell you, this is luxury, heavy, gorgeous packaging. I mean, stunning. I have already tried it and I have a review coming up for you because you have to know about this baby. This is in the Eau Natural, and there's another one that is supposed to be kind of a little bit deeper in tone. I think it's called Soiree. I think that's the one. I think I want to get it. I mean, like, I know I'm giving away a little bit in my review, but you have to check out my review because right there, I tell you specifics about all these products. And then I went ahead and got a lipstick in the shade Santa Fe. Look at this. Isn't this? so beautiful what a beautiful packaging and this is the shade right here again another <laughs> pinky nudie tone i know i have to i have to stop either buying more lipsticks or just change a little bit i don't know i don't know my friends i'm crazy about lipsticks so for sure you're gonna see a full-on review on this new beauty brand from olivia palermo and then I have here a couple things that I received in PR. One of them is from the brand Velour. And you know guys that I use Velour lashes. Not all the time, but when I use them, I always let you know which ones I use. And many of the times have been Velour. So when they approach me, I'm like, oh yeah, I will absolutely love to. So they sent me their new pretty big deal peptide and tubing mascara. I love tubing mascara. I think they are such an amazing product because they are super easy to apply they usually give a lot of length and they are super easy to remove with just a little bit of warm water so i'm like okay give me that and this is also a lash serum so it kind of like brings me back to kind of like the shantikai mascara that is a serum but that one right there is not a tubing mascara well this one it is so i'm like okay so i really want to try this on camera and see if it gives volume if it gives length because it has a lot of claims right here and then they also sent me two of their effortless lashes and i love this line because i do have hooded eyes smaller eyelids so i cannot really use like big lashes i remember back on the time when i was first watching youtube videos everybody was using the miami lashes i'm like they look pretty but i bought it once and it was like i i look like i had tarantula on my eyelids so bad i took them out anyhow these are ones that i really like the effortless line so they sent me mini me which is this one right here really beautiful Oh, love it. And then they also sent me Pura <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is right here, a little bit more flirty. It will kind of like bring my lashes out a little. So I'm super excited to try all these products from Velour. Thank you so much, Velour, for sending these over to me. I greatly appreciate your generosity. And then something else that I received from PR is from Ana Luisa. You know, guys, I am an ambassador for Ana Luisa, but this video is not sponsored by them. It's not in partnership with them. These are actually products that they sent me during their Mother's Day event. So they just arrived to me and I really, really wanted to show them to you. So they come in this beautiful, I mean, like, I truly enjoy their presentation, how organic everything looks. And I love their sustainability efforts. I just that wins my heart right there but they sent me a few pieces let me get you closer right here so you can take a look at it because i'm wearing them right now so they sent me these beautiful earrings they do have these tiny 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 little rhinestones and then this dinkling chain that i really love i think it's a little bit more edgy something that you know if it was too chunky too big i wouldn't be actually wearing but this one's right here, I truly like. And then they sent me this beautiful necklace. I think it's just truly stunning. It's not too chunky. It's not like super denty denty, but I think it can go, I mean like I can dress it up or down with any type of pieces. And then they sent me these gorgeous earrings. Look at these little pieces. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sending me these pieces over to me. I will be leaving all the details of these pieces also in the description box below. They are truly stunning. I mean, 
that's what I like about Annalisa. Denty, trendy, feminine, not too loud, not super bold, but yet making a beautiful statement. Just like these rings. I cannot stop wearing these rings right here either. I'm also from Annalisa. So thank you so much again to Anna Luisa for these beautiful pieces. And then I pick up a product from Octoly. So Octoly, if you don't know, it is a platform for content creators, influencers, that you can actually pick a product. And when I saw this product in there, I'm like, you know what? I really want to try it. It's a Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. You'll still see it right here. This has been a winner on Allure. And I have been hearing the best things about it. A lot of people compare it a lot to the Drunk Elephant Protein Moisturizer, which I love. And I have actually tried this baby right here. As you can tell, it's a little bit dirty right there. I love this kind of dispenser. Again, kind of like the Drunk Elephant one that it actually will not let air in and it will just contain everything so that way the ingredients are at you know at their best and just as the name implies barrier plus when you apply this moisturizer cream if you have sensitive mature skin i consider myself mature skin i'm over 40 years old this one will really keep that moisture trap and help your skin barrier to get repaired, to get nourished more if you have very sensitive skin, if you have dry areas too. So this after serums is amazing. And personally, I can use it morning and evening without a problem, but I feel like if you have oily skin, you may want to use it just at nighttime. But oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It does have aloe vera, it has peptides in it it's actually a beautiful moisturizer that it will just keep your skin nice and moisturized i mean like the name says it and it doesn't have really i mean i didn't felt any scent in particular but it gave me that you know hydration that i need honestly i have been using it for at least two weeks right now and I'm in love with that. And I must have been on a skincare kick that I placed an order with Jess Style. So I replenished my Cosarex Advanced Snail Musing Power Essence. This one right here, I love it whenever my skin feels a little bit too tight, too dry, or just my skin feels a little bit like, or is looking a little bit dull. This an essence, it's made out of um, the secretion of the snail. I know some people will be like, yeah, cool. But one, it doesn't hurt the snails at all because it will cause, not only cause a rex, but you know, any type of laboratories that works with the snail, a ton of money, you know, because of hurting the snails and that's not the purpose of it. It's just to get the museum from them and it has a lot of good properties, peptides in it, that it actually helps to restore your skin barrier. Honestly, and a, a beautiful product. This is not the first time that I'm using it. So this one right here, it's not even a bath cap. It's just something that I needed to replenish. And with that, I said, you know what? Let me try that all-in-one cream. And this is a gorgeous cream too. It does have that viscosity. I wish though that they will have packaged it on a different type of container, you know, but you can see right here how gooey it is but it actually melts on the skin and gets into your skin and like your skin will just like drink it completely and you will you will see the glow that your skin will have not only when you see this one but as you use it your skin will start glowing i mean truly beautiful and then i also purchased this iunique beta glucan power moisture serum so beta glucan is what you find in say oatmeal and for example an avino product that whenever you have like a rash or sensitivity on your skin or rosacea you apply on it to calm you know anything of that so i have been using more often right now my regine so i really wanted a serum that kind of like help to soothe any type of irritation and I went ahead and pick up this one right here. Again, heard the best things about it. And I also heard the greatest thing about this Cancun Yul Essence Toner. Again, another toner that just brings a lot of moisture to your skin. I was reading on the reviews that this is kind of like too thick or it does some people feel that they leave a film on their skin. 
it doesn't to me at all it actually it's beautiful really nice i have already used a little and my kids they use it too they do have acne they are in their teenager years you know what it actually nourishes and hydrates their skin so it's a beautiful beautiful product and then I went ahead and picked up also this vegan kombucha tea essence. I mean, like so many essences right here. This is by Dr. Siraco? 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 I don't know. But I ended up picking this up because I'm using my current body lip light masks for my face and also for my neck and decollete and i heard that using some type of fermented tea essence when you use a lead light mask it's really good to actually deeper penetrate so i pick up this one i think this was a recommendation from Garamista, Garamista, I think she was the one who was saying that this is really good to use and I actually really like it and I don't find any type of sensibility on my skin. In fact, I feel my skin agrees with it really well, so I'm really excited for that. Anyhow friends, the last product right here that I got, this one I got on the last day of the Sephora Spring Savings Event Sale and it was at the last minute. I'm like, if I'm able to put it in the car and still check out that means it's meant to be for me but if not that means i will let go <laughs> i know i tricked myself to that point so i went ahead and got the dyson coral <laughs> that i have been telling you guys that i have been wanting it for forever so my daughter has used it and it actually works wonderful i still i haven't used it yet but i'm sure to use it very soon give you feedback about it let me know if you want to see this friend in action right here or if you want to see a hair care routine i mean i can use the dyson air wrap if you want to but yeah i ended up getting this one this one was kind of like i think it's a limited edition or a special packaging that for the same price of the dyson coral you also get these brushes right here not that i need them but Oh well, <laughs> you know, might as well. Yeah, my friends, and I think this may set for this luxury beauty haul. Let me know which are the products that you want to see on a try-on haul. Let me know if you have tried any of these products too, and let's carry the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.